Fuck, what was I gonna play? <sighs> that Jimmy Neutron hair, though. It's all about that. And it's still spinning. Chips are Hawaii thins. Even though they're thins, they still have some size to them. Apparently, you're supposed to look a thousand times more jacked in uh, car windows. Nah, don't see a difference. No syrup drip, but that's okay. Life is like riding a bicycle. In order to keep balance, you just gotta keep moving. So, it is 10.43. So this is, I guess, uh... So I guess this is a little uh, day in the life. So as of right now, I have absolutely no plans to do anything today besides um, eat food and Relax, my back is killing me right now because of the mountain bike tumble. No syrup drip, but that's okay. One thing that's gonna be really, really hard for me to actually get over, I have to like literally take in a gallon and a half to two gallons of water a day not just water, but just in liquid in general. Like I go through one of these a day usually um, and I have a lot of protein shakes. I just have so much within my stomach uh, day to day. So I'm just gonna be replacing that with as much food as possible now. I know it's gonna be a lot more calorie wise, but I honestly, I just can't take peeing so much anymore and just always, always having to go to the bathroom and it's just, it's so uncomfortable. So yeah, it's just, this is entirely gonna be a new experience for me. Chips Ahoy Thins. Even though they're thins, they still have some size to them. That's interesting, I was not expecting these to have chocolate chips in them. All the oatmeal cookies that I've had have been oatmeal raisin. Maybe I just thought that these were supposed to have raisins in them. I was just wrong. Oh well. I'm gonna do something I've never done before with you guys. Take you on a little adventure. Let's go take a walk. As you guys can tell, it's absolutely horrible outside. I'm trying to get a tan right now and it's not really working. Ninety-six. Well, here goes nothing. Well, today the vampires took eight vials of blood. Yeah, I had a very uh, large list of things I needed to have checked. Now I can breathe and just uh, wait for the results. That hopeless romantic song. And alrighty guys, in this bag right here, I actually got a new pizza pan because as you guys can see, this one's uh, just old. So, I need to get a new one. And then, everyone, low key, not so low key, corn checks, by far, one of my favorites. Now, I'm not gonna say it is my favorite, but it is definitely one that I love. That's the only reason I never buy checks is because they're so expensive. At least in my grocery store, that I can't even talk. At my grocery store, it's like five bucks. So, oh well, I saw it and I wanted to get some, so I did. Frozen veggies right there. And then some vanilla, kefir, kefir. I'm gonna say kefir from now on, I don't know. Either way, I'll get it wrong, I don't care. So I got some of that, and then I had to get some more egg whites right there. And then some mussels, I'll probably be doing a stir fry tonight. And then some random sponges, let's go over there. And then celery. Baking cocoa, rice cakes, these which are awesome, which I haven't gotten in forever. Need to clean up my kitchen. Taqueria style little mini corn tacos, so I'll probably be 
be doing some tacos either in this video or the next one. And then I had to get some more peanut butter. I've been going through about two or three of these a week, increasing those fats. Yeah. Pears right there. Vanilla extract. Some mixed berries. Pico de gallo. Oh snap, rice cakes, cabbage, oatmeal, stuff you guys have never seen before. Strawberries, crazy, all this is new. Uh, of course I'm being sarcastic guys, but uh, yeah. So I've got some of that. Then we had to get some uh, Almond Breeze vanilla right there. And you know what, I was being sarcastic, but you guys actually haven't seen me have Greek yogurt in at least, let's say a few months. I usually don't buy Greek yogurt just because it is pretty expensive. I've been, I've been buying the cape, uh, caper keeper lately. Uh, apples right there and you guys know we'll get some onions too these are these are actually really good guys if you want to throw them on top of this if I can pull this out before that's what she said or he said <laughs> half rest normally 1340 and they are 394 at least right now so they went on sale again you guys know I love getting those when they are on sale and then sprite zero 88 cents and of course we had to get some chicken too I like to just get this just because this is cooked already. That is not cooked, so whenever I want to get something quick in, I go with that. Yeah, who cares about that? It's all about that. I'm gonna go pass out for a little bit because I really need to before I actually get into this, but yeah, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Moments later. fail. When you put too much pico de gallo in one taco, you learn a serious lesson, everybody. And to think I was actually gonna go out and buy tacos because it's Taco Tuesday, just make them yourself. In the European mountains, enlarged the body of knowledge about Chimborazo and Cotopaxi. American politics in Latin society. I am so thankful that this is the last class I'll ever have to take. Of the fruits of hard labor and the institution of the rule of law. Day one. Well, it took long enough. We finally beat Mass Effect. <sighs> now the question is, what's next? <sighs> Alrighty guys, well it is Friday and this is the first day of uh, no medication of any sort. And uh, it's gonna be definitely interesting to see how the, uh, I guess, next phase of my life goes because this is huge for me. A lot of you that don't take medication, just think about it in the sense of, I guess, going off of uh, caffeine or coffee if you are used to drinking coffee. It sucks at first, but just gotta roll with it and uh, get through it. I did mention I'm taking a vitamin B complex. I've been doing that once per day and also picked up some selenium, which is great for thyroid health and just general health for the most part, so I'm taking that once per day. Also checking my temperature, usually twice per day, and uh, just taking it easy. Right now, that's just the best thing I can do, and i um, trying to, I guess, just get through. I wanna say the next two weeks, I'm planning on doing a two week, I guess, adrenal reset, if you wanna call it that, and um, just doing this all uh, cold turkey. I'm not drinking any coffee during this phase as well, so it's definitely gonna be another thing it's gonna be hard to do, but I'm just going to run my body on food and sleep for the first time in a long time. Since I usually say cheers, I'm gonna say cheers to just that, food and sleep. Just need to get more of it. Apparently you're supposed to look a thousand times more jacked in uh, car windows. Nah, don't see a difference.
Well, I knew I was gonna be tired. This is a new level of tired. I got in and actually did something, which is good. I told myself I wasn't gonna, with my meals and everything, I know I'm gonna be extremely hungry and my appetite's gonna be through the roof when I uh, continue to get into this, but this is day one, of course, but I just didn't wanna make this a whole like, fasting thing and then way for me to control my hunger has always been too fast for long periods of time and so I just I'm not going to abstain from food and go 18 hours a day without food and just live on liquid and water and just to you know mitigate calories and everything just because I know again I'm gonna be eating a lot more during this whole uh, phase where I'm getting off my of medication so anyways that being said my energy is jack right now. At least I got in and did something. I did some squats and everything. I'm still technically injured. My middle back is, there's some pain there, so I made sure to keep squats very light. I did some single leg presses, and yeah, apart from that, I did bench earlier in the week, and my back was just not feeling it at all, so I kept it light there too. So I'm just, again, glad I got in and did something, and uh, yeah, we gotta get through the rest of the day. It's only 4 p.m. What can I say? I love this place. Well, let's see how this goes. Last time that I played Skyrim was on my PC, and that was like three years ago. Oh, perfect. We have to install it. Three weeks later. Mission done. Mission done. Bro. A few moments later. And so, it begins. This is even better than my character selection in Mass Effect. That chicken, though. Eleven Chicken and Gabriel Iglesias on Netflix. Highlight of my Friday night. Day two, and I probably had about four hours of sleep last night. My sleep is supposed to be getting better, and it's getting worse, but I'm not gonna complain. Just going to go through the process. Hi. <sighs> that Jimmy Neutron hair, though. Shout out to the homie. Oh man, this is great. This is fantastic. Well, you need a haircut, don't you? Potentially, but then again, if I went there with a gigantic cheeseburger and walked up to a girl and was like, hey, I can eat like 50 of these. Come on. No, God! What do you think, eh? No, God, please, no! Maybe, it just, maybe, maybe I would just get all the women in the world. <laughs> and just say that Instagram recommended me to do it. Or I can just pull out my guitar and pretend like I know what I'm doing. Not as relaxing as I thought it would be, but I'll figure something out. Don't worry, I won't do that to you guys again, I promise. My favorite salad and some Sprite. Zero. Boom. The next day. Call me crazy, but we're attempting it again. I'm really starting to feel it. Tuna gains are on point, what can I say? Solid. And I didn't say not bad for like the thousandth time. So before I bid you guys farewell, you have to let me know down in the comments section. Or you know what you could do, just give this video a like. Speaking of music selection, be sure to give this video a like. If you're a fan of the uh, music selection in this video, I just always like to hear you guys' feedback and a lot of you have been asking me to make a playlist, but I'll get on it eventually. Love you guys.
All right, everybody, so I just wanna say thank you so much for taking the time to watch the video. I'm gonna to get to this here in a second, but I definitely wanted to let you guys know that I am still in one piece after this week and how it went and everything. I know it was just a very stressful time for me and stressful time for my body and everything, but I got through the first few days and it's been pretty hard, pretty difficult, but I am still in one piece, like I said. The headaches and everything have gone away and my body is, I guess, getting just more adapted to being in an unstimulated, mindset, if that's the way you want to put it. I don't know. I have some important dates coming up and just a lot of things to look forward to. I do really want to thank each and every one of you that actually genuinely want to support me and that actually do support me, that actually want me to feel better. And it just, I cannot tell you guys how much it really means to me to have that type of support and to have people that are genuinely in my corner. Now, while I've noticed that, I've also noticed the actual opposite on a few of my videos as well. And it's really, really discouraging to see people that just genuinely Maybe they're not having such a good day and they just want to spread hate to other people, but guys, if you just, I mean, it, it, it's a keyboard and everything, but if you want to spread hate and negativity, go do it somewhere else. Thankfully, it's easy for me to just hit that ban button for certain people that really have nothing better to do with their time. Now that that's out of the way, again, everybody, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for supporting me and for just wanting the best for me. I really do appreciate it. If you guys haven't already, check me out on Patreon. It's a great way for you guys to support us creators on YouTube. Follow me on my social media if you haven't already, Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram. You know the drill. Thanks again for watching the video, everybody, and... Go right ahead.